examine yourself and see if you should take communion. Ask the pastor. Who should take Holy Communion? I think anybody can take it. Hear what I'm saying. But Paul says this word, he says something in effect, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. He said, but let a man examine himself and let him take up that cup Mm. and so on and drink it, you know. And so uh, when we are taking communion, we shouldn't just, uh, we should really reverence and and realize the seriousness uh, of what we're doing. We should examine ourselves. Yes. Let a man examine himself. Not, Not me examine you, not somebody else exam- but examine yourself and see if you should take communion. I know sometimes people just take it. They let the kids take it. You know, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, sometimes I might suffer that depending on the situation, their children and Jesus said, let, let them come. But I really believe in the seriousness of what we're doing. Yes. I think you ought to examine yourself. And if you're not really sure, if you have some, uh, s- some undecided things going on in your life, yeah, I, think you sh- I think it would be okay to refrain that Sunday or that, or that uh, Friday from taking it. And, uh, but let a man, let a woman examine himself. And then after you examine yourself and you say, Lord, search my heart, forgive me. You know, I repent right here. And I, then I think you should uh, take communion. Thank you so much. And this was written to the churches at Corinth, and it says to the churches of God in Corinth, it's, this is for believers. This is for people who know Christ and profess Christ as their Savior and possess Him. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get all of the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. So email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below to submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and we want to thank you for watching.